you organized today a discussion about media integrity research. Why do you think it is important that this type of discussion is organized in the European Parliament? Why you did it? First of all, it's an excellent research and I think uh, we every time uh, find out that uh, there is still a lot of things we can and we have to improve when it comes to the freedom of expression and freedom of media, not only in the European Union but as well in our direct neighborhood, uh, we discussed the Western Balkans. And uh, I think uh, that the institutions are not paying enough attention. But what for me is much more worrying is that what we realized again is that the situation in the media is today even worse than tens or more years ago. And that despite of improved legislation, the journalists are even in a more difficult situation. And this is, of course, as well a consequence of uh, democratic deficits, which is um, higher in all um, European states. And on the other hand, it's a growing economic and political pressure on the media. Um, it's a big lack of investigative journalism. It's a new challenge with online media. So the whole media landscape is changing a lot and it demands nuances. This concept of integrity implies there is problem with corruption. In our research, we identified that this type of corruption relations in the media are connected to a lot to political parties. And you are also a member of an important political party and political group. Do you consider political parties also uh, how to say, contributing and not playing good role in media freedom issues? Certainly in uh, many member states um, one can say that political party either first don't support um, any freedom of expression or media role that is uh, an important watchdog of the democracy and uh, the, the authorities but on the other hand, it's always a question of transparency in financing. Um, I difficult to talk about my country, but certainly the situation is not okay. Um, and even further, if you look at the, the region as a such, it's very worrying. What can we do is to establish not only the better legal framework, but how to implement, how to assure that the media can really work, how to ensure that the journalists are threatened, how to ensure that the finances that there are availability as well in the European budget framework can be as well delivered to help the media. So there are a lot of open questions, but, but uh, first and utmost for me is one um, very important issue. The media uh, are playing a crucial role in our society, are protecting democracies. And for that, if we would do more when fighting against corruption, uh, when improving the, the legal framework, the justice system as well, um, then we certainly, with a more efficient fight against corruption, we would improve as well the freedom and the freedom of expression and freedom of media. In our research, we rely a lot at the end on citizens. We do consider important role of uh, European institutions in negotiations, normative framework, but we do think citizens are left aside and as a political uh, leader yourself you are also in contact at least at the time of campaigns with citizens do you also see this potential and need to engage citizens more and take them to act responsible in in their rights as a politician i see several difficulties in worst place, of course, I uh, completely understand the citizens must be engaged, must be aware and must be active citizens. How to achieve that? I, as a politician, often realize that I cannot communicate my policies or policies of the European institutions to the public. The channels are not really uh, very fluid. I cannot find media who would be in a proper way as well communicating 
the European policies. So what happens on the other side is that the citizens themselves are not really well informed. So I think when we discuss a very complex issue as a media freedom, media expression and the work of the European institutions and how to engage our citizens to better understand what is happening and to better control what is happening, uh, we have to, I think, work uh, very closely. Uh, we all carry a big responsibility, not only politicians, but as well the media themselves. How to remain that, how to achieve that media are really credible, professional, so we need a proper environment because this is, I think, what is most important. When the journalists have the environment to freely work, to freely express what is necessary, then we will as well be in a better position to communicate our policies. So I think um, this is as well how we will get our citizens back. And I hope we will manage to achieve in the years to come because um, we are in a very difficult situation only if we discuss um, the European institutions and policies and the whole integration project. Thank you.